guys, today's video is the first video of 2019. It didn't take us very long to, to get into making videos <laughs> Whole again. Whole three days. Whole three days. <laughs> Today we are talking about an unlimited screening. We saw Colette. I'm not sure when this comes out actually. Neither, neither am I. Normally. I don't. I think it's like the 11th. Oh, so maybe so a not, week, not, week So not two. too far away. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. So Colette is based off a true story. We start the story off in the late 19th century mm -hmm. in France. We follow a small town girl named Gabrielle who is androgynous and not your typical feminine french girl she's erratic and a bit crazy you know she's like a mod she's like in the wrong era exactly basically. she was born in the wrong she was born too early she was born in the wrong period Definitely. and uh, she falls in love with a much older man who is a writer and they end up getting married and it kind of all seems hunky-dory mm. until they start to run out of money because Really, he can't write. He gets everyone else to write for him. But he has such credit, a big yeah. name that he takes credit for it and people buy it because of his name. Mm -hmm. And he finds out that she has a talent for writing and uses that to start a series of books named Claudine, which become a national phenomenon in France. Um, but as a result of this, their marriage fails mm. and she learns that she doesn't really want to be under his wing anymore. She wants to be her own person as an artist. Yeah, I mean, that pretty much sounds, <laughs> sounds uh, pretty damn well. <laughs> uh, and we have, obviously, the queen of period dramas, Kira Knightley. I mean, who else would you call? Does she just not age or something, I, I Like, just, honestly? She looks exactly the same here as she did in, like, Atonement, which was, like, 2006. Yeah, like, literally, I was like, she just doesn't... There's, like, not one wrinkle on her face. I'm like... <laughs> like, is it a period drama if Kira Knightley isn't in it? This is true. We also have Dominic West. Yeah. Who is known for doing a lot of theatrical things. Yeah, he's he was... like a very big Shakespeare fan and all yeah. of that. He was in their latest uh, Les Mis on BBC yeah, as yeah. Uh, Jean Valjean. Jean Valjean. I haven't seen it, but I know he's in it. No, I do like Dominic West though. He's, yeah. got, he's got a good, like, good British just... Yeah. I don't know, to yeah. Him. It's quite funny because they are very British, but this is set in France. France and yeah. they are French. But hey-ho, here we are. <laughs> Weirder things have happened, eh? Yeah. So, I have somewhat mixed feelings about this film. So do I. I very much enjoyed Kira Knightley's performance. I thought Obviously, she was amazing. Like, what, some of the monologues that she did, I was like, Oh Ooh. my goodness, yes. Like, a oh, feminist icon. Yeah. Uh, but it felt very long. It did feel like we were in there for like three or four hours. Yes. I believe it was only an hour and 40 minutes from what yeah, I sort of I calculated. So. But I was thinking, is this ever going to end? Not that it was like bad, but yeah, I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. okay, we go. <laughs> it was just quite drawn out, I think. Yeah. Considering it was sort of based over maybe a period of 10, 10, 15, 10 15 years. years. Yeah. It felt very long. It reminded me of the length of um, Le Vie et Rose, <laughs> which is Edith Piaf's uh, biopic, which feels so long. Um, <sighs> I don't know. I feel like this. I know it's based off real life, obviously, mm. but I feel like her as a character. At the beginning, you kind of feel like she's really feisty and just mm. doesn't take anyone's shit. But throughout the story, she gets kind of complacent. Yeah. yeah, it's a very strange relationship she has with her husband because no matter how many times she says, you know, no, no, I'm not going to do what you want me to do, mm. she always ends up doing it. But I feel like that was just like part of the times, though. Yeah. Like if she left him at that point, she'd literally have nothing. She had yeah. like no dowry or anything, or like yeah. you know. I suppose she kind of had to keep doing it for herself and eventually yeah. she did like write for herself and become her own author and one of the most mm. celebrated in France. Um, so she's a very complicated woman. She really is, but then she's not at the same time, you know yeah. what I mean? Like she's just... For the times I suppose she yeah, was a complicated yeah. woman, maybe a controversial woman. Definitely, like, Roger. Uh, she meets this um, man who is a woman and sort of starts a relationship with them and at the same time she starts dressing in men's clothes yeah. and everyone thinks she's quite controversial whereas nowadays i'm like yes you work that suit honey well, yeah it's like <laughs> back then you don't really think of trans people being a thing you know yeah, what i mean because like it would just people be are so struggling to accept it now <laughs> it would just be so unspeakable you know so like back then like good lord yeah must it have, even... you must have some guts man but it's <sighs> It's an important story to know, I think, yeah, just because, yeah. you know. It was interesting. Like, I had yeah. no idea about it at all. Me either, me either. So I love, I love, like, when we go into a film and you have, like, no idea what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You have no, like, 
backstory or anything to yeah. it. Like, was... Me and you are quite big fans of like the period drama. We do love good period drama. I just like being educated for the film as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I like it because it was a real life story as well. I'm like, well, okay. I have we some, do like a biopic. I have some knowledge from and that. And the period drama. What film isn't a biopic? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, like these True. days, everything is like based on a real life story. I mean, everything technical wise, like costumes, lighting, I mean, yeah, cinematography, yeah. There were some beautiful shots music, in there. Like, beautiful, like costume design. Definitely. I would wear everything. Yes. She has in this film. Some of them outfits towards the end, I was like, ooh. She killing it. Yeah. yeah, I feel like probably when Oscar season comes around, maybe some costume design yeah, potentially, awards yeah. going on. I feel like people obviously don't like period dramas or biopics. Yeah, there's, gonna be, gonna there's like probably going to be a lot of like fair hatred to this. Yeah, a lot I of mixed mean, reviews, I think. Yeah. It honestly depends on your taste. It really does. Like, I don't feel people will go and watch it if they don't like this kind of thing. Exactly. I mean, for us two, it's obviously not bad because we like period dramas, mm. we like biopics. I wouldn't say I'd watch it again willingly. No, I don't think it's one of those ones you watch over and over again. It's definitely one of those, like, you watch it once, you're educated, you move on with your exactly. life kind of thing. It's yeah. not like, oh, yeah, I can't wait to go and watch Colette. <laughs> yeah. You know? Like, yeah. It's not like you're going to pop that on on a Friday night and be like, Ooh. Exactly. I mean, there is some steamy scenes in it, though. There's some all kinds of... <laughs> I was sat next to this, like, middle-aged woman. I was just like, this is like watching Game of Thrones with my oh, mum. This is so awkward. Like, yeah, just a little bit of lesbian sex. It's fine. It's all good. Natural, natural. It's fine. A couple of boobs come out, you know. Free the nip. Free the nip. <laughs> like, it is what it is. Yep. You know, it's... I know, I can't say I was like entertained by it, but I was educated. I wasn't, like, unentertained. Mm. Like, I was... I didn't really get bored necessarily yeah. but i did think like okay this is like a really long we'll film this guy now. just made eye yeah. contact with me which is really awkward <laughs> <laughs> Hi. yeah i don't necessarily think i was bored but it did feel like it was a very long film but i don't feel necessarily like usually like oh it should have just been a mini series i don't feel like that necessarily would have worked no. as a mini series no because that would have been even more dragged out than like yeah. a film so it definitely works in this format mm. You know, Kira Knightley, keep doing your period dramas. You're a queen at it. I don't feel like she's ever going to age, so she can just keep doing that for the rest of her life. <laughs> I swear. The thing is, I don't feel like I've seen her in anything recently. Well, she, well, she was in that Nutcracker thing that came um, out in November. We didn't see that, but she was in that. I don't that. really count that. <laughs> <laughs> like, and mm. then, I don't really know what I've yeah, seen Yeah, I don't in. feel like she's only been in anything like, really big for a while. I swear, she's literally just in period dramas. Mm. Atonement, The Duchess, Pride and Prejudice. Even like Colette. Pirates of the Caribbean was pretty like, <laughs> period drama, really, wasn't it? Like, so the... unless it's period drama season, Kira Knightley is in hibernation. She's like Michael Bublé at Christmas. I live for it though. <laughs> I live for the outfits. I live for the hair. She's... There was a dog. Like, she's just great. Let's be honest. It was great. Everything was pretty good. The performances were pretty good. Mm -hmm. It was. It was content. It was content. I have no no strong feelings. Nah, it's way. just a bit of a meh. Bit of a meh. Meh. Yeah. That's all I've got to say about that. Yep. We'll be seeing another period drama <laughs> next week. We will. A very different kind. I'm not sure if it's necessarily that that different, really, though. Like, in some of the themes that are there, yeah. there is some lesbianism and all that. Yep. This so... is true. I don't think it's based off a true story, though. I think they've made everything up. So, that's great. I'm okay with that. It, yeah. it might be a little bit more... From what I've seen from the trailers... Sorry, we're talking about the favourite, yeah, by the way. Yeah, we're talking about the favourite, yeah. <laughs> from what I've seen from the trailers, it's just very bizarre. But also, I think there is a lot of truth in it. Like, people think that a lot of it's made up, but there is a lot of truth to it, because I was reading and, like, watching interviews and stuff. Oh, okay. And apparently there is a fair amount of truth to it, so... Well... <laughs> Based on Queen Victoria. Wait, what? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not Queen Victoria. <laughs> Had too many biopics about her already. Oh god, just stop! Like, <laughs> except don't stop Victoria the ITV series. Oh my god, no. Yeah, I watched the Young Victoria the other day, and I was like, mm, isn't that great? <laughs> Compared to like actual Victoria, I should plan more. Anyway, we're getting <laughs> off subject. Massive tangent. Um, yeah, no strong feelings. We'll be back with another period drama review next week <laughs> with the favourite. Um, do you like period dramas? Like, let us know down below in the comments. Yeah. If and not, you know, sorry. shouldn't be here. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> but yeah, so we will see you guys next time. Mm, okay, bye. bye. <laughs>